Hey, so today I'm just going to do a quick review of some of the fragrances I got from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. And, um, excuse the hat, but I didn't do my hair today. I was being lazy. So first, I'm going to start off um, with this fragrance I got. And I obviously got it because of the name. And it's um, Jareth. And it's supposed to be a scent named after Jareth, the Goblin King from Labyrinth. And this is what it looks like. It's like a little bottle like this. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on it. But when I first opened it, I was like, this smells really masculine. I mean, I understand it's supposed to smell like what he would smell like. But I kind of thought maybe it would like be something a woman could wear also. And I smelled it and I was like, oh, there's no way that I'm going to be able to wear this. But then I put it on and I actually like it a lot. There's a, um, I know that like when different people wear different scents, it smells good on one person or bad on another person. But I think that just like, you know, the scent changes. And I actually really liked it once I put it on. I'm, I'm trying to look for... Um, the description of this but I can't find it anyways um, yeah so I, I put it on I really liked it and the only th issue with it is you have to keep reapplying it because it fades very easily like throughout the day so that's my um, only issue with with uh, this I think they're all like that I think a lot of the scents that are not that strong, the ones that aren't as strong, um, kind of fade out during the day and you have to put them back on. Uh, what does this say? Ethereal lilac and gleaming leather with tea leaf, tonka absolute, white musk, and odour. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what this is supposed to, to smell like. And yeah, so it's good. I recommend this one. I like it. And the other ones that I got, um, they're called imps, imp, imp ears, I believe. And they're just little bottles, like this size. Um, you get you buy like a group of them, and you can't really pick out each scent that you want. But I think there's different categories for each scent. And I think the one one of the categories I got was like an amber type of ca category of scents. So I'll just go over quickly um, some of those that I got. So let's see. Okay, Deep in Earth. This says it's supposed to be rose, geranium, Spanish moss, Irish yew, and graveyard dirt. This one, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Deep in the Earth. It's freaking strong. Like, it's really, really strong. It, like, singes my nose hair strong. I put it on, and this is one of the scents that, like, doesn't come off. Like, it figures the one I like that I want to stay on doesn't stay on. But the one that's, like, hideous that I don't want to stay on stays on. I don't like this one. Um, another one that was um, supposed to be, like, the earthy type tones is Burial. And I was psyched about this one. And I actually, I like it out of the bottle. Like, it smells really cool in the bottle. Like, it smells like you're buried alive. And... When I put it on, it was it was the same thing. It was just overpowering. It gave me a headache. I couldn't wear it. So I'm not... I like it in the bottle, but not on me. Another one that I disliked is Manila. Same thing. It's just like you put it on, overpowering. Didn't care for it. Um, some of the ones that I did like were... Little Wooden Doll. This one, this one wasn't bad um, smelling. I'm not sure what the description on this one is, but it's not too it's not too too strong. It's one of the better um, smelling ones. So Bastet B A S T E T. This one is supposed to be luxur luxuriant amber, warm Egyptian musk, which I love Egyptian musk just on its own. Fair saffron, soft uh, myrrh, almond, cardamom, and golden lotus. Um, did I like this one? Yeah, this one's not bad. This one kind of smells a little bit fruity, like maybe it has like a, a cherry scent to it. I'm not sure what that would be from the description, but maybe the amber. I don't know. This one wasn't bad, though. So I recommend that one. Oh, Tamora. 
this one was good too. This one kind of had like a, a, a fruity, like cherry kind of smell to it. Tamora, T-A-M-O-R-A. I don't know if I looked up the description for this one. The only thing that stinks about the site is that there's so many of them that it's hard to like decide what you want to get or get descriptions on all of them because it's like all these different categories. So Tamora, Amber, Heliotrope, Golden, Sandalwood, Peach, Blossom, and Vanilla Bean. Maybe I'm smelling a little bit of the vanilla and the peach. So this one, I, I think the ones that are more fruity smelling, I like better than the ones that are like patchouli based. Like I just don't like that smell. I know some people do. I just don't care for it. I just think it's too, too strong. Um, Greed was another one that I didn't like. I'm just opening these and smelling them all. It's just, I don't know, it's just strong. Base and earthy, yet glittering with golden notes. Patchouli, yeah, see, patchouli, heliotrope, copal, and oak moss. O oak moss. I just, I don't, I don't like the patchouli ones. If you like them, then, if you like the patchouli smell, then you'll like these. I mean, it's just not my thing. Um, but I got a bunch more. There's like Black Rose, Haunted, The Temptation, Lover's Torment, Umbra, The Lion. I think The Lion wasn't bad. Um, Pitho, I think that it is. Destroying Angel. So I feel like most were too strong for me and I didn't care for the scent. Um, but you know, I just wanted to try it. I heard... A lot of people used um, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab scents, and I just wanted to see for myself. I mean, the the descriptions are pretty cool on some of them. I mean, like the earth earthy ones. I'm like, oh, cool, like, you know, burial or whatever. I'm like, that sounds awesome. I'd wear that, but then, you know, smelling it, I didn't particularly care for it. Um, but they have, so, like they said, the the, the Jareth one is obviously from the, the Labyrinth um, set of scents that they have, because they also have Hoggle. Golden, um, Goblin Cider, Fairy Bites, 13 Hours. Um, I'd be curious to try some, some of those other ones since I already liked the Jareth one. But they have, like, other movies, too. They have, um, The Last Unicorn, shows like Fraggle Rock, um, Hellboy, um, what else did I see? I think, like, Alice in Wonderland... So, they, I mean, they have a big, a huge selection of stuff. I'm just looking, scrolling through it on my phone right now. Oh, Crimson Peak, that new movie that came out. So, I don't know. If you like, like, those oil scents that, like, you know, when you walk into that, like, weird hippie sort of store that has, like, angel, I mean, uh, fairy figurines, and they smell like, they sell oils, and then they smell like the bongs and the, bowls to smoke weed out of in the back of the room and like just like all it's like the one that has like all the different weird stuff in it like when you walk in there like incense and stuff like that um when you walk in there you just like that smell like that's what a lot of this stuff smells like and I think that it's not really for me um I'm not I'm not the type of person that to wear stuff like that and like I said like patchouli and, and stuff I don't really like it but I am happy that um, the Labyrinth one, the Jareth one, smelled good because, um, I really wanted to try it. So, yeah, I don't know. Give it a shot. Let me know if you have any of these and you like them or you dislike them. And also, um, ones that I'm not going to even use or keep, message me if you, one of my subscribe, if you're a subscribe, subscribe, if you're a subscriber of my channel, like, you know me, I can't talk half the time. I'm always like, but if you're a subscriber and you want one that I'm not going to want to keep, then let me know if it's one you've tried before and you like, or one you just want to give a shot and see what it smells like and if you like patchouli. So yeah, just um, comment below um, and let me know if you want it and we can exchange information and I will be so nice and send it to you. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. Sorry, this was just kind of like quick and all over the place, but I kind of just wanted to do it. Um, I've been meaning to do it because I got these, I think, about like a month ago. So hopefully I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment, like, and please subscribe so I can keep making videos. And I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>